videos. If you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you watch my videos all the time, welcome back. Be sure to like my videos and also subscribe, please, okay? Today, what we are going to be doing is we are going to turn this 3 by 12 tile that I ordered as a sample from Amazon into a nameplate for my desk for this school year, okay? Um, they sell these at any hardware store Home Depot, Lowe's, but you can also order a sample from off of Amazon. And um, this might have been like $5, $4.99. We are going to make the nameplate by using etching cream. And this is Armor Etch. You can get this from Amazon or you can get this from your local craft store. Um, yeah. So, but this you have to pop. Um, you have to practice proper safety procedures because this is acid okay so we will go over um, that when we get ready to start etching we're also going to use Cricut Design Space to create the stencil for um, our nameplate and we are also going to be using vinyl okay so our Cricut is going to do a little bit of work today and cut us out um, the vinyl that is going to go onto our nameplate. Okay, let's get started. We are now going to design our stencil inside of Design Space. And what I want to do first is I just want to create a template for the tile. And the tile is a 3 by 12 so we are just going to adjust the measurements up here. Okay, so after that, what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to put teacher on the tile. That's what we're etching. And then on top of that, we are going to put a layer of um, vinyl with, a, a, I'm putting my name, but you can put your name or if you're gifting it to someone, their name. So we'll go to text and teacher. And I want this to be a very bold font and it's going to be about I want it to kind of be in the center of, and it's going to so we're going to kind of just use the grid lines as our guide and I want to change the font so let's see what a nice nice thick font. Let's try this one. It's nice and bold. And we're going to just adjust the height up here. I find that's easier. And then I'll do the width. And it's going to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to now cut this out of another box. Um, so that we can create the stencil because when we get ready to weed, we are only going to be weeding out the letters. Okay, so let's go here to shapes. We're going to make another box. And what I'm going to do just so that we know, I'm going to make it the same size as the tile. Because that would give us more. And we're going to send this to the back. And then we'll move teacher there. So that way we kind of know. And I want to center it because when we get ready to apply the stencil to the tile, it will fit perfectly and it will be centered. So that is why we are doing this. And we're going to align. Center horizontally. And there we have it. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to slice this out. Okay. 
so that we get the cut that we want. Okay, we really don't need that anymore, but I'll leave it there for now. And I am going to do a little, well, I'm going to do a text and we're going to use my name because this is going to go on my desk. Miss Wilson, and I want a cursive, a script font. I'll do this one. Miss Wilson. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit longer than teacher. But what we have to do first is we have to ungroup and we have to put everything together. Mode. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this because I want to make it a little bit thicker and with this that font I could not bold it anymore. So I'm just going to duplicate it a few times just to increase the thickness of the cut. Okay. And now I'm going to weld all of that together. And when we get ready to cut it, it will go over the stenciled it will go over the etched word teacher like that okay and let's get ready to we can delete this right now and we are going to get ready to etch and cut okay all right guys so we're going to get ready to put this on our mats and we will get ready to cut and i'll be right back okay so everything is cut and set up on our mat and we are going to get ready to cut this Okay, so I've already unloaded our vinyl from off of the cutting mat. And so what we're going to do is first we will go ahead and we will weed the stencil. So what you want to do is you just want to peel away that outside layer so you know exactly what you're working with then. So we're going to take that off first. not uh -uh. touching too close I kind of made it touch too close to the border so I'm just going to weave it out and then you're going to make sure that you're weeding your letters out Okay, you're weaving your letters out. So we are going to get ready to apply our etching cream to the tile. 
I've already cleaned our tile off with alcohol and it's dry. And I've already um, applied our transfer tape on top of our vinyl. That's a short piece, so I'm gonna have to help it a little bit. And we are going to put it on. Okay, so we're going to get ready to apply it and see I tried to make it the same length as the the same length and the width as the tile so that when it's time to lay it down it will be nicely centered right and so we kind of want to get it right there at the edge okay And you want to make sure there are no bubbles around the edges of the letters because you don't want the etching cream to seep under okay so i'm just gonna kind of press it down to make sure and then i'll remove the transfer tape okay so here you have it and what we are going to do next is apply the etching cream. So anytime you're working with etching cream, you want to make sure that you are um, following all the safety precautions when using it. So we have gloves that we are going to use. And I've also put down um, a little bit of paper in between the tile and the desk because I don't want the etching cream to get on the desk. So always, always, always make sure that you are wearing gloves. Okay, so I'm going to be applying the etching cream with this sponge brush um, because I really don't want it to get underneath um, the letters, the edges, because sometimes with the bristle brush, it will go underneath and you'll see like little streaks because the bristles are so fine and they are a little bit sharp so we're just going to use it with and you don't even have to apply a whole lot okay so i'm done applying it and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to let it sit here for about three minutes so the, that the adsit can interact with the tile and we can get a nice etching on it. Okay, so this sat on for about actually like six minutes. So what we're going to do is we are now just going to simply wash this off with water. And set the water rinse over it and go ahead and help it out Okay, so we have rinsed off the etching cream and what you wanna make sure is, is that there is no more etching cream on your, um, whatever you're etching before you even bring it back away from the water. So what I did was I made sure that all the etching cream, there was none that had seeped over or in the back um, because you definitely don't want to end up touching it, okay? So I'm just gonna help it out a little bit to dry it off because I want it to be dry before I put the vinyl on. And you can just peel it off. Make sure you guys can see it. Go 
but you can see the wording that was etched into the teacher. dry a little bit more I'm not sure if you guys can see it well maybe not let's see you can see it teachers etched into the tile and what we're going to do next is we are going to get ready to apply the name on top of teacher Okay, looks like it's perfectly reusing that same piece of transfer tape that we had. Because why waste a good transfer sheet? This one. short so I have to be careful when I take it off of the transfer sheet. So we are just going to make sure before we stick it down that we measure and I want it to go in the center so the center of the word teacher I don't want my M to not be on and there we have it. Oh. just gonna take this and press it in a little bit This year I intended on having a polka dot themed classroom. So I have all this polka dot stuff because I really thought that we would be back in school 100%, but it looks like that's gonna be delayed. So, but I can always continue to do the decorations for my class. All right. Ready to take it off and always try to peel it from the corner. And I'd like to peel slowly just in case something isn't sticking well. And here we have it, our final product. Um, I'm probably gonna add like a little apple here, here and here um, with vinyl. But for the most part, this is our nameplate. So what you can do is they have the little stands that you can sit it in and it will sit perfectly on your desk or um, if you want to put it up, but I would usually use the little stand. I have one inside of my classroom that I use. All right, y'all, so we're all done. And this is our nameplate that we created. It will be a nice addition to my desk inside of my classroom. I definitely want to add a little bit of color. So I'll probably add two red um, apples here in the corners. So. 
thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel thank you